Assalamualaikum, konnichiwa, Jamu Des, and welcome to Hikari Online Class. For today's lesson, we will study the lesson ten of our grammar structure. Are you ready? Dawa hajime masho. Okay, so our first grammar point here is noun ga arimas and imas. Okay, so there is two meaning of this sentence pattern, and we already discussed the noun ga arimas in the lesson nine. So as you can remember, this is the first meaning of this is possession, means you have it. Okay, you have the noun. For example, I have a bag. In Japanese, that would be kaban ga arimas. Okay. Now in this lesson, you will gonna know or you, we will gonna emphasize the other usage of this sentence pattern, which is existence. Okay, we will gonna emphasize that there is now. Okay, so this sentence pattern is used to indicate the existence or presence of a things or person. So ginagamit ang sentence pattern na ito para ipaliwanag mo or sabihin mong nag-i-exist si noun dyan. Okay, so the thing or persons in such in a sentence, is treated as a subject and marked with a particle ga. Kung ano yung nang dyan, kung ano yung meron dyan, yan yung ipaparticle ga mo. Okay? So, arimas is used when what is present in animate or does not move by itself. So, ginagamit siya, arimas, pag yung bagay na yun is in animate or hindi siya gumagalaw, na sarili niyang paa or hindi niya kayang gumalaw by itself. So, just like mga things. Plants and places belong in this category. Okay? So, just like an example here, you will say, there is a computer. So, since computer is inanimate, so we will use arimas. That would be, kumpyuta ga arimas. Computer ga arimas. Okay? Next, another example here. There are apples. There are apples. Ringo ga arimas. Ringo ga arimas. So, since apples are inanimate, that's why we use arimas. Okay? Okay, remember that watashi wa kabang ga arimas. I have a bag is different from asokoni kabanga arimas there is a bag over there okay so the first sentence is i have a bag so that means that arimas here meaning possession meron ka nung isang bagay while on the other hand asokoni kabanga arimas there is a bag over there sinasabi mo lang na mayroong bag doon so that means existence okay so, just always remember to comprehend very carefully when you use arimas. It's either it is a possession or existence. Okay, next up is, next up is imas. Okay, when what is present is animate and moves by itself, imas is used. Okay, kung ano yung meron dun or kung ano yung nag-i-exist, pag animate siya or kaya niya gumalaw sa sarili niyang pa like people and animals so we will gonna use imas okay so for example the cat okay there is a cat so you will say cat is neko neko ga imas neko ga imas okay next up is there is a man. There is a man. Otoko no hito ga imas. Man is otoko no hito. Otoko no hito ga imas. Okay? So, another reminder here that watashi wa neko ga imas, I have a cat, is different from Hakuni neko ga imas. There is a cat in the box. Okay, again, always remember if it's possession or existence. 
Since the first sentence, I have a cat, meron ka, busa, so that means you have it. So that means possession, okay? While the other hand, there is a cat in the box, so that means tinutukoy mo lang na mayroong pusa sa box. So that means existence, okay? So just be very careful about it. Okay, next sentence pattern is noun one place ni, noun two ga arimas imas. Okay, the place where enter is present is indicated by the part. Okay, so in this sentence pattern, kung nasaan yung noun two natin, so yung place ay lalagyan natin ng particle ni. Okay, kung saan nag-exist ang isang bagay. For example, just like here, there is a child in the park. Okay? So, kung nasaan yung bata, ilalagay natin yung particle ni, which is the park. Okay? Park in Japanese is koen. So, you will gonna say, koen ni kodomo ga imas. Koen ni kodomo ga imas. Okay, next up is my mother is at home. My mother is at home. So, kung nasan yung mother, so it means home. Okay? So, that would be uchi. So, uchi ni haha ga imas. Uchi ni haha ga imas. Another, there is a Marco Polo in Davao. There is a Marco Polo in Davao. Davao ni Marco Polo ga arimas. Davao ni Marco Polo ga arimas. Okay, and the last one. When you say, I don't have money in my pocket. Okay, remember you don't have it. So that means, wala ka nung isang bagay. So that means possession, okay? So, watashi no poketto ni okani ga arimase. I don't have money in my pocket. In Japanese, that would be, watashi no poketto ni okani ga arimase. Okay, another example is when you say, there is a computer in teacher's room. There is a computer in teacher's room. Sensei no heya ni computer ga arimas. Again, Sensei no heya ni computer ga arimas. Okay? Another example is when you say, There are apples in the box. There are apples in the box. Haku no naka ni ringo ga arimas. Hako no naka ni ringo ga arimas. Okay, another example is, There is a cat in the box. Hako no naka ni neko ga imas. Hako no naka ni neko ga imas. Okay? Next one. There is a man in this room. Kono heya ni Otoko no hito ga imas. Kono heya ni otoko no hito ga imas. Okay, so that is how we gonna use imas. Okay, kung sino yung nandyan, particle ga, at kung nasan siya, or kung nasaan ang isang bagay, yun ang ipaparticle ni natin. Okay? Okay, so for the interrogative, you can ask what or who is present at or in the place by using this pattern. The interrogative nani is used for the things in dare is used for person. Okay? Pag tinatanong mo ang isang bagay, you use nani. But kung tinatanong mo kung sino yung nandyan, you will ask or you will use dare. Okay? For example, what is in the basement? Okay? So, Basement means chika. Okay? So, chika ni nani ga arimasu ka? Chika ni 
Nani ga arimasu ka? So he will answer, there is a restaurant. Restaurant ga arimasu. Restaurant ga arimasu. And for the negative, you can have nothing's there. Nani mo arimasen. Nani mo arimasen. Okay, so remember, place ni interrogative ga arimas ka, imas ka. So that is our sentence pattern for asking a question. Okay, so you just ask or you just place the things or the person for this interrogative. Okay, another example here is who is in the reception? Reception is uketsuke. Okay, okay, so again, then who is dare? So you will say, Oketsuke ni dare ga imasu ka? Oketsuke ni dare ga imasu ka? So he can answer, Miss Kimura's there. Kimura-san ga imasu. Kimura-san ga imasu. Or you can answer, No one's there. Dare mo imasen. Dari mo imasen. Walang nandu. Okay? So, just simply, just follow the sentence pattern. Place ni interrogative ga arimas or imas ka. Okay, so you just add, or you just change the things or the place of the person as the interrogative and you just add ka in the last sentence to make it a question. Okay, so next Sentence pattern is noun one wa noun two place ni arimas imas. But in this sentence pattern, the speaker picks up n one as the topics and explain where it is. Okay, so in this sentence pattern is gagawin natin topic si noun one at kung nasa anito ilalagay natin ng particle ni then arimas or either imas. Okay. So the topic should be something or someone that both the speaker and the listener know about. So dapat yung topic nila ay alam pareho na listener at ng speaker. Okay? The particle attached to noun one is not ga. As you notice, hindi ga yung nilalagay natin, which mark the subject, but wa, which marks the topic. So hindi na siya subject ng ating verb, but it's it. It is now the topic of our sentence. So that's why it is already in particle 1. Okay? So just like an example here. Tokyo Disneyland is in Chiba Ken. Tokyo Disneyland is in Chiba Ken. Tokyo Disneyland wa Chiba Ken ni arimasu. Tokyo Disneyland wa Chiba Ken ni arimas. Okay, as you can notice, si Tokyo Disneyland yung pinag-uusapan natin. No, siya yung topic ng sentence, kaya siya ay particle wa at hindi na particle ga. Okay, but the place is still particle ni. Kung saan siya nag-i-exist or kung asan siya dun, place ni particle ni pa rin. Okay? Another example. Mira is in the office. Mira is in the office. Mira-san wa jimusho ni imas. Mira-san wa jimusho ni imas. Okay? So when you ask where N1 is, this is Sentence pattern is used. So, kung tinatanong mo naman kung nasaan si noun 1 natin, so, ito yung sentence pattern na gagamitin natin. Tokyo Disneyland wa doko ni arimas ka? Nasaan yung Tokyo Disneyland? And you will answer, Chiba Ken ni arimas. Okay? Chiba Ken ni Arimas. So, kung nasaan ay isang bagay, it's always still particle ni. Okay? So, as you can see, doko and you just answer the place. 
since doko is where. Okay, another example. Mira san wa doko ni imasu ka? Where is Mira? Jimusho ni imasu. Jimusho ni imasu. She is in the office or in the office. Okay? So remember doko and then he just directly said the place and then particle. So yan yung gagamitin natin. But this is sometimes used to replace a verb predicate when the predicate is obvious. Okay? So the sentence noun 1 wa noun 2 place ni arimas imas can be replaced by the sentence noun 1 wa noun 2 place this which is you learned in the lesson. So as you can remember, pwede natin gamitin to identify or para sabihin kung nasaan si noun 1 by using the noun 1 wa noun 2 place this. Just like in the lesson 3, Here's another example. Mira san wa doko ni imasu ka? Mira san wa jimusho desu. Okay? Mira san wa doko ni imasu ka? Mira san wa jimusho desu. Mira is in the office. So you can also use this aside from noun one wa noun two place ni arimasu. Okay? Both sentence pattern is okay to use. So, mamimili ka lang kung saan ka comfortable gamitin to answer this question. Okay, so, sentence pattern is Think, person, or place no Uwe, shita, mae, ushiro, migi, hidari, naka, soto, tonari, chikaku, aida. Okay, so this is a helper of place. Okay? So, uwe means up, above, top. Okay? Taas. Taas. Okay? Shita means below, under, or down. Mae is in front. Ujiro is at the back. Migi is right. Hidari is left. Naka is inside. Soto is outside. Tonari is next to. Chikaku is near. And Aida is in between. Okay? So, ito yung mga different placement kung nasaan yung bagay natin. Okay? So, it is either things, person, or place. You just add particle no and you attach which place it is. For example, you will gonna say there is a cat inside the box. So, box is hako. So, you will gonna say Hako no naka ni neko ga imasu. Again, hako no naka ni neko ga imasu. Inside is naka. So that would be hako no naka ni neko ga imasu. Okay? Another example. There is a computer on the top of the table. Top of the table. So, top is uwe. And table is tsukue. So, tsukue no uwe ni kompyuta ga arimasu. Tsukue no uwe ni kompyuta ga arimasu. Okay? Another. The post office is next to the bank. The post office is next to the bank. Okay, remember, post office is yubin kyoku. Yubin kyoku. Bank is ginko. Ginko. Okay? So that would be yubin kyoku wa ginko no tonari ni arimasu. Yubin kyoko wa ginko no tonari ni arimasu. Okay? Okay, so ganyan mo gagamitin si place, different placement. So lalagyan mo lang kung nasaan siya or lalagyan mo lang particle no kung saan place siya nandun. Okay, for example, like here. So nasa sa bank. 
So, for example, like here, nandun siya next to the box. So, kung saan siya malapit sa natin box, you just add no, then next to is tonari. So, that's why ginko no tonari arimas. Okay? So, as these are place nouns, not only ni, but also particles like de can come after them. Okay, so, since the places are nouns, so as you can see, if magkakadugtong yung dalawang noun, we use particle de. For example, I meet my friend near the station. Okay? Station is eki. Friend is tumudachi. Near to or near to la is chikaku. And met is aimashita. Okay? So that would be I meet my friend near the station. Eki no chikaku de tumudachi ni aimashita. Eki no chikaku de tumudachi ni aimashita. Okay? So, as you can see, we use particle de for this one. Okay? So, kahit na play siya, since dun natin ginawa ang isang action, which is the ay masta, so that's why it is indicated as particle de. Okay? Another grammar point is noun 1 niya, noun 2, nani nani this. Okay? So, nouns are connected in coordinate relation by the particle ya. While to enumerates all the items, ya shows a few representative items. Sometimes, nado is put after the last noun to explicitly express that there are also some other things of that kind. Okay? So, noun one ya, noun two. Okay, so that would be connect. Okay? This is connected by the coordination by the particle. So, and, and, etc., etc. Okay? So, that's why means by, yeah, means etc. While, okay, so as you can remember, to enumerates all the items. Pag sinabi mong si to, I have pencil and pen. So, you use to. But when you say, I have pencil and pen and etc. So, you still have others that you don't mention. So, you use ya for that one. Okay? So, for example, okay, for example, okay, for example, there is a computer, chair, and the like in teacher's room. So, you will get the same. Sensei no hiya ni computer ya iso na ga arimasu. Okay? Sensei no hiya ni computer ya iso na ga arimasu. Okay, so nado is imitable, so you can just say, Sensei no heya ni computer ya iso ga arimas. Okay, so when you put ya in a sentence, so that means that aside from computer and chair, there are other things in that room. Okay? Another, there's pencil, notebook inside the box. Kaban no naka ni inpetsu ya no do ga arimasu. Kaban no naka ni inpetsu ya no to na do ga arimasu. Okay? So, as you can see, sinasabi mong may lapis at saka may notebook sa aking bag. So, but aside from that, meron pang ibang bagay na hindi mo lang sinabi. So, you use ya. Okay? So that's how you're gonna use this noun one. Ya, noun two. Ga, arimas, or is. Okay, so next is the word or words, deska. So the particle ka has the function to confirm. So aside from asking, this is also for confirmation. Okay? So the speaker picks up a word or words he or she wants to confirm and confirm its them using this pattern. So, kino-confirm niya kung parang tama ba yung sinabi ko or tama ba itong sinasabi ko. So, that is how you will say word or words desk. For example, here, Excuse me, where is the New York store? Sumimasen. 
ニューヨーストアはどこですかすみませんニューヨーヤーストアはどこですかニューヨークストア It's inside that building ニューヨーストアですかあのビルの中ですユーニューヤーストアですかあのビルの中です。It'll be just a confirmation. You just gonna use the sentence pattern to confirm if it's the right word or words that he is or she is asking. Okay? Another one is チリソソはありませんかチリソソはありませんか So this expression is found in the conversation of this lesson by using the negative form ありませんか instead of ありますか Okay, so using this sentence pattern, you can be indirect and polite showing that you are prepared for a negative answer. So mostly you can hear this expression in the restaurant if you're asking for something just like in chili sauce. Okay, for example here, excuse me, do you have chili sauce? Sumimasen, chili sauce wa arimasen ka? So, he answered that they have it. Okay, so when you are asking if meron ba silang bagay na to, so maybe it would be polite if you use this, okay? Okay, and that's the end for our lesson then, and I hope you learn another new sentence pattern in our Japanese grammar. So, see you again next time, minasang. Have a great day. Goodbye!